a nerd. Anyway, no, the Yusha friend land of Yusha land, and, um, I don't know, I just decided to do a commentary, because why not? I had good, it came out to be a longer video. It was like eight minutes originally, but I was like, no, I want to do a commentary for a video a bit longer than the two minute ones, but, but, um, eight minutes just still felt a little short, a little bit too short to, like, fit into a commentary, because I love talking, apparently. So, yeah, I just made it a little bit longer, and now it, I have, like, ten minutes or so to talk. You know, that's not much more, but, um, so, yeah, I decided to draw, um, um, the beachy island ice mummy, but more in their living appearance-ish, or at least my own autistic interpretation of it, but, so yeah, the one I'm working on right now is John Torrington, and, uh, from the Franklin Expedition and stuff, so yeah, um, yeah, um, my interest in these guys actually goes, actually goes back a long, a lot longer back, lo uh, uh, a lot farther back than even my mom might think, like, yeah, I've, I've known about these guys since I was, like, wow, um, like, earlier, slightly earlier YouTube days, like, maybe even, like, a decade ago already, 2009, or maybe? Yeah, um, so, yeah, that's, uh, and that's quite a bit farther back than that predates AMC the Tara, so, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I have a bit of a father back connection and uh, interest in these people than you might think. Like, and um, stories about um, just sometimes a bit more grody topics, you know. But still, da da do 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 do. Um. So yeah, I just. I don't know what to talk about with the process, because that's kind of it. You're kind of witnessing it right here. <laughs> um, so I don't know what else to talk about. Maybe I should have just left this video shorter, because I'm finding I'm running out of things to talk about already. But, um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and, um, as inferred by the title, or as you can see in the title, Today's prompt, well, it's the 11th, today's prompt is, um, snow for Inktober, and it was, like, I already drew, like, a John and Tom Hartnell, the Hartnell brothers, um, for an earlier day, like, day four, and it was, like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna draw some other Franklin expeditioners, you know, particularly, um, John Torrington, William Bryan and John Hartnell, although I already did John Hartnell, but I wanted to add Bryan and Torrington in, into it. Because they're awesome. And I appreciate them and what they were able to do. Oh yeah, and you might have noticed in some of the drawings that at the very end I added in the, the uh, what looks like the Inktoba logo, but it was like, but then I realized like, nah, that, that, um, like, I don't know, the Somebody else came with the Inktoba logo, and for all we know, they took a little bit of time to figure out what it wanted, what they wanted it to look like. So yeah, so you know, like a trademark, it had like literally like the TM trademark on like the the uh on the logo itself. So it's like nah, the yeah, so yeah. I just erased it and then just added, you know, just eleven and then the prompt name for the day for that day. So yeah, that, that's why initially you might see the Inktoba logo on them at first, but then I erased them and then just added an 11 or a respective number and the respective um, prompt name for the day, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about. And I don't know how many times I got a reference. Like, I should probably come up with a script or bullet point. To talk about in the commentary, especially a bit longer one. I like to um uh just um with shorter speed paint videos that I just like to I like to just add music into shorter ones, like you know the um the ones of um Aaron Jeffcoat for example. They're like really they're like like typically under two minutes, I believe. So it's like yeah, that that can fit music, and I can. 
and a longer speed art like this one, I can talk for a longer, for a bit, no, 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 what am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, a bit longer, and, and uh, yeah, but I always gotta struggle halfway through to figure out what on earth I even want to talk about. I never go into the planned, and I, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. But yeah, oh, and uh, the one you're witnessing right now, William Brain, that uh, Kloss thing, is like, um, he, uh, the real life William Brain was like, um, buried with, um, a red kerchief, and they think it was like, they speculate it's like, it was like a prized possession of his. So I'm like, yeah, I, I guess I want to draw him with it, you know, if it was his, um, prized possession at the time. Um, Oh yeah, and uh, his right hand is um, is the same pose that his actual right hand was in when they found him or when they exhumed him in eighty six when they exhumed Hartnell for a third time and Brain for the first time two years after they um exhumed Tarrington and everything. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and the one with Tarrington, you can probably or you could probably tell that his left uh, Tarrington's left hand was a pro posed in pretty much the same way as his hand was actually posed in the famous pictures of him. Yeah. Um. Da 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 da. Inktober logo, go away. There we go. Anyway. I actually came up with some, um, uh, different, like, character designs because I've been kind of going crazy or having too much fun with designing characters and outfit designs, so I came up with, like, um, character designs for the guys, um, not the entire Franklin Expedition right now, that's a bit, that, that those are like 120 plus people right there, but didn't get up to them right now, but... I kind of, like, um, for at least, um, Hartnell, Tarrington, and Brian, and Tom Hartnell, um, I came up with, um, like, almost, like, updated versions of the, of what the actual outfit would have probably looked like. Like, I came up with a design for, um, Tom Hartnell's shirt that they found John wearing when they exhumed him in 86. So yeah, I came, like, there, like, I came up with designs for them that are, like, meant to be, like, uh, alternate reality, <laughs> um, and, um, like, updated versions of what they would have actually worn, which, uh, uh, yeah, not really fantasy, but, like, my own take on the outfit that aren't meant to be, like, um, actually historically accurate, but, like, like, I don't know, just updated or, like, um, alternate reality versions of the outfits. And I actually like them. These aren't the full bodies, obviously. But then again, their pants look kind of similar, you know. But it's mostly, like, um, like I, um, you know those, like, linen cloth strips that they tied Tarrington's arms and, and body to? And you might have noticed that, like, um... Uh, I don't know what to call it, that, um, polka-dotted cloth that they, that, that was famously found, uh, tying Tarrington's, um, jaw around his head, um, yeah, I put that on, like, as, like, a neckerchief, like, to, like, something to just put around his neck, and, um, one of the linen cloth straps that you saw was tied around his hair, and how did you know I'm also guilty of depicting Tarrington with blonde hair too. How did you know that? How did you know I imagined Tarrington with blonde hair too? Anyway, so yeah, um, I kind of, like, I don't know, I just, and then another, the linen cloth job, you kind of saw, like, a, it's mainly supposed to be tied around his waist in the, in the alternate reality, quote, updated version of their outfit, like, um, it's tied around his waist, almost like a belt, even though it doesn't really function that, like that. But, still. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, the, like, right here, um, Tom Hartnell, like, his, uh, I, like, designed the shirt. Like, this particular depiction of the shirt. I don't actually know what the shirt really looks like, but maybe I just am not good at, 
looking up images, but, but I don't know, I didn't really, I don't, like, we can only see them on the post-mortem photos of John and his brother, so I don't know, um, but I kind of, like, came up with my own design for the shirt, and I, and the idea, it's supposed to be a really cool-looking shirt, so that's why he gave it to a cool big bro. Oh, and yeah, this is, like, a little silly-er picture, because, you know, and Tom is not a part of the Beachy Island trio, and, and but he's still Tom Ho uh, John Hartnell's brother, brother, anyway. So, yeah, that's it for this commentary, and, um, thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time in whatever video I make. Bye.